move us up to a load of 3.6 g. An asymmetric front, which tilts the motor 2 degrees downwards and 2 degrees towards the right hand side, compensates the negative effect of the spinning mass of the propeller. With all systems integrated, the fuselage is balanced and the center of gravity is 15 mm in front of the center of pressure, which ensures a stable flight. The wing attachment is realized with a quick connector provided by the German company Festo. It is originally a pneumatic part, which has been adapted to secure the wing in Y direction. In X and Z direction, it is held in place by two spars, which are slid into tubes at the fuse slot. The self-locking quick-release fasteners allow installation in just a few moments and in only two steps. Insert the wing connector into the fuse slot and then connect the electrical plug. This system allows a high modularity. For example, if the mission objective asks for a faster plane, another set of wings can be attached to optimize for higher speeds and lower payloads. Whilst it could be argued that the use of composite and biodegradable materials qualifies as possessing a degree of innovation, there are two parts of the design which possess truly innovative qualities. The morphing wing shown in the right hand image is a relatively new concept which is essentially unseen in the UAV market. It alters the geometry of the wing itself instead of relying upon the extendable flaps and ailerons of a conventional wing. This proves advantageous as it theoretically improves overall efficiency by reducing the drag caused by areas of low pressure which occur when airflow separates from an extended wing flap. The airless wheel, shown in the left hand photo, is 3D printed out of an elastic thermoplastic. Unlike conventional landing gear assemblies, the use of a deformable airless wheel eliminates the need for a dedicated suspension system and removes the risk of punctures to the wheels. This allows for significant weight reduction as no springs or dampers are required and it also improves the reliability by removing the risk of tyre punctures. the advantage against our competitors, Titan contains key innovations in efficiency, sustainability and ease of use. We developed our own active motor cooling system called Boreas. This consists of an additively manufactured stator with integrated cooling vanes. We utilize computational and traditional engineering methods to further optimize and prototype our system. Finally, we presented our system to a company called Graphite AM who specialize in additive manufacturing methods, specifically in the additive manufacturing of carbon and graphite. They have agreed to sponsor the production of our system, and this is going to be a very important part of our revenue model. We'll come on to talk about that later. On with our technical process. We have created multiple prototypes during the development process. We started off with a wooden rib structure that would later be covered in PETG, as can be seen in the picture. After that, we moved on to create a fully 3D printable tubular base design made out of PLA and PETG, as can be seen here. We are currently running tests with this design and are planning to extensively test it in a local environment of Malawi this year, October. With regards to the algorithm, we use a combination of edge detection and color detection to determine the position of ground markers and then use a machine learning algorithm to determine the alphanumerical character. Finally, I would like to show you a video of our test flight. What you see here is a video of our first wooden prototype flying and landing automatically. 